What's up guys? So I made this material UI form a little bit ago and if you were one to see how I would add these columns to a table. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the material UI table here and we're going to submit a user and he's going to come to this little table here. I'm going to put a table and so, so right now I'm capturing the JSON they're typing right. Instead we're going to put a nice big table down here uh, using material UI tables and I'm just going to populate the rows as I submit stuff. So. I'm just going to come over here to Material UI, uh, use their simple example, and we're just going to copy this. And we're going to make ours differently, of course, but this is a good starter template that we can copy. All right, so here is the app.js, the code for this. Uh, code's in the link in the description below if you want to follow along. I'm going to say table.js and just paste this guy in. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and simplify this a little bit say export default here all right so then our app instead of doing app.json.stringify i'm just going to have that table down here all right and then i'm going to import table below all right so let's come take a look at what that looks like all right, so we now have our table. There's a couple things left to do now. Uh, first, we need to be able to you know, type and then hit submit, and then it should pop down here. So to do this, we're gonna have to like hold previous values, feed the data into here. So I think the first thing we should do is make this table dynamic. So right now we have static data, right? Uh, instead, let's take two props, uh, data and header. So header, um, I'm going to assume is, um, I'm going to draw our app over here. Let's say our header is going to be just an array of strings. Oops. So here, I'm going to have what? First name, last name, username, email, password. So first name, last name, username, password, and email. So those are the four headers. Um, and then I'm also going to pass in data, right? Oops. And the data I'm going to pass in is basically for now, I'm just going to pass in an empty array, but eventually what we want to pass in for data is an array of objects, and each object will have the key first name, last name, username, email, and then we'll go ahead and uh, populate that in the table. Um, so yeah, so in our table here, um, we're just going to, actually, you know what, in our app, Let's do, let's, instead of making this array of this, let's make these objects. So let's, I'm going to make, just show you guys how to make this as a generic table. So you could feed any type of data in. So I'm going to say name, and then prop is going to be called first name. Is that, is that, is that how we're doing it? Uh, capital N, okay. So capital N here. So this is going to be the name and the data. Here's what we want the column header to be. And then we're going to do this all the way down, right? So, so name. And you guys will see why this is cool later. Um, this is just going to make it so no matter what your data looks like, you could reuse this grid in your, or this table in your application. And it's great to make components like this so you're not duplicating code. So username. I just wish we didn't have so many fields here. Uh, all right, so name, props, email, and then last one here, password. All right, all right. So now our header is complete, and now in our table here, instead of just having static uh, column headers. We're going to say header, we're going to 
say object dot actually no header is already an array I was thinking I was thinking header was an object but header is just an array so we're going to say header dot map um, x comma i and I think it's fine to use the index for the key and here we go so we're going to say table header and here we're just going to say x dot name and we're going to give it a key because we're doing a map of i all right so that's good and then here we can just comment out our table body pretty much right now because we do not need it and i just want to show you guys the rendering of the header so all right we got first name last name username email password uh, you might want to remove password if you want to show it in a table, but why not? Let's show it for now, um, since this is not this is just an example. Um, and then our app over here. So, in our form, we ha we had an on submit, right? So, just props that on submit. So let's go ahead and do that, and we don't care about on change anymore. All we care about is when they submit. So on submit, we get the, the piece of data that we want. So in our app, instead of doing on change, we really just care about on submit. And we're going to say data, or we're going to say submission. And we're going to go ahead and just do set state. And we're going to say in our hang, we're gonna have data here, which is an array, and we're gonna say whenever we get a submission, a data is gonna be equal to a new array dot 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 this dot state dot data, and then just adding our submission to that. So go ahead and save that. So every time we submit, we add a new data element, and we don't have to do we get rid of on, on change there since we're not using that. All right, so on submit, we grab the submission, we set the state, we add the data we had before, and then our new submission. And then we're just gonna speed data, or this dot state dot data to our table. Now we have to handle all of this, right? Um, actually, let's keep the comment, that way we know how to create it. So we're gonna say data.map. Um, and then here we're gonna say x dot i. Ideally, you have um, an ID associated with x, but we don't. But that's okay. Um, and let's go ahead and just put it up here so it's simple. So const uh, put row, we'll call it, and it's gonna take an x and an i, and then we're going to put all our GSX there. So we're gonna map a row. And then this is what our row is going to look like. There we go. And actually, we're going to need to pass in the header so we know how to uh, how to do this, right? And what I mean by how to do this is we actually need the header has the prop, so we don't know what prop to access from X. We have to grab it from the header. So we need to pass in X comma I comma header. So we're gonna map x comma i. We're gonna call row passing x, i, and then header. Header we're grabbing here, x and i we're getting from there. So just a little lambda function there. And then here we're gonna say table row. And then we're going to do another mapping. So header dot map. We're gonna go through each header. Um, and here we're going to say key is equal to i. We're looping through each header. We're going to grab the prop that we need, and then we're going to render it with a, a table column. So we're going to say, we'll call this y, and then k. And we can go ahead and render it here. That's fine. Oops, did not mean to paste everything. There we go. 
And so we're going to set the key equal to k and y. So y is going to be a header. So we want to say y.prop will give us the property name. And then we're going to say x. And then we're going to get the y.prop. And then we're going to show it. Also, the key, we, need, we should make this um, unique. And right now, it's not. So what we should be doing is something like table row column dash. And then our key here will be table row, which we'll call so table row dash. All right, so that's our keys. And then this key, we'll say table header column table header column dash dollar sign okay and I think we're all done here I don't think I'm using keys anywhere else come down here delete the comment and let's see if we have any errors I think this looks pretty good though so let's try submitting something Bob 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 I think I had I'm enforcing some stuff. I forgot what I'm enforcing. The username has to be at least five characters. So let's call him Bobby. And we submitted this.props.onChange. It's not a function. Uh, that would be in our form. I just forgot to get rid of this since we're not, we don't have an onChange function anymore. Okay. Come back, submit this again. I don't think it was a problem with. Um, us though yeah the form okay so Bob 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 email password is broken but we got these three so let's see why that is I'm guessing it does not line up email password what I call the prop email password so let's go to the state and see what the values are um, come here go to react we can see the state of our application so a table here, um, we should see data. I guess we have to go up one here. So data we're passing in, we're passing in email, first name, last name, password. Um, we don't need this error garbage. We should have cleaned that out, but that's okay. It's fine to keep it there because maybe we want to show if there's an error or something. Um, header, first name last name, username, uh, I don't know, or let's see, email, so email, oh, we call this props, that should be prop, that's why, all right, now we have it complete, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I wish I didn't add validation, it'd be so much faster to add these. All right, so now we can go ahead and add as many as we want. Oh, we don't even have to add a password if we don't new. We could leave it blank. All right, that's how you do it, guys. So we can now submit to make this a little bit longer. Um, there we go. Oh, that's a little bug. Did you guys see that? So notice how I submitted, even though the validation did not happen, or even though we didn't pass validation, we still submitted. Let's fix that bug real quick. So that is in our form here. Um, uh, that the reason for that is on our on submit, we are calling on submit before we even validate. So we should put that down here, right? So we should clear the form and then submit it. Well, we should submit and then clear the form. But we should only submit if there's not an error, right? So that's a little silly thing we had in there. But now we're all good to go. So that is how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below because I know this code might look a little confusing here, right? So uh, this is going to be up on GitHub. Come check it out. We're just mapping a few times, um, but we're, the bodies could be especially confusing because we're mapping across each data element and then inside of here we're mapping across the header and creating each column um, but you can just think of it like we're mapping through each row 
and then we're getting each one of these we're mapping to create this 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 but the cool thing about this is it's very easy to now change what data you pass in so if I just don't want to show the password like I told you guys like maybe you just don't want to bam I just cut it off right and then everything will reformat we now have four spread across nicely um, and if I just come here I can go ahead and submit and bam, we're good. So it's easy to like manipulate your data now with this header prop. So that's what I like about making the data grid like this, or the table, not data grid. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This video is over. I'll see you guys in the next one.